Okay, so we're going to be doing fractions of amounts this time. So we're using bar models to work this out because it's a really nice visual way of seeing the problem. So if we're going to work out 3 quarters of 24, we have 24 as our whole. And our bottom bar needs to be split into 4 because that's the denominator that we're working with. Now, in order to work out what each one of these quarters is worth, we have 24 and we've split it into 4 pieces. So we've essentially done 24 divided by and split into 4 pieces. And using your times tables you should know that that is 6. So each one of these quarters is worth 6. Now if we look back at the original question, we didn't want one quarter, we wanted three quarters. So just like we did in class, we're going to circle the numerator, three of them. And we want either 6 times 3, or 6 add 6 add 6, either gives us exactly the same answer. And you should know that that is 18. So 3 quarters of 24 equals 18. We're going to do exactly the same thing for this one here. So 25 is our whole. This time we're going to split the bottom into 5 because our denominator is 5 this time. And to work out what each fifth is worth, we are going to divide 25 by 5. And using your 5 times table, you should know that there are 5 fives in 25. So each one of these is worth 5. But we didn't want one fifth. We wanted two fifths, and two fifths gives you 10. And two fifths of 25 is 10. And then we've got three sixths of 30. So 30 is our whole. This time we're going to split the bottom bar into six. One, two, three, four, five, six. To work out what each sixth is worth, we're going to divide 30 by six. And we should hopefully know that that is 5. And then we're going to label our 5s. And we didn't want 1 6th though, we wanted 3. So we are going to multiply our 5 3 times. We should get 15. And hopefully, some of you should have spotted that 3 6 is equivalent to a half. And a half of 30 is 15. Now the next couple have got bigger numbers and they might use some short division that I showed you the other day by a video. So this time we've got 3 fifths of 145 and I've put my 145 up there. You should know by now through repetition that our bottom bar is going to be split into 5 pieces. And to work out what each fifth is worth, we need to divide 145 by 5. Now, some of you might be able to do that in your head. If you can't, there is no reason why you can't use the bus stop short division method that we looked at last week. So, if we use that method, we think how many fives are in 1? Well, there aren't any, and we move our 1 over. How many fives are in 14? Well, when we're counting fives, we go 5, 10. If we go one more, we've got 15, which is too high. So there are two full groups. And if we're at 10 and we needed 14, there is a remainder of 4. And then how many fives are in 45? You should know that that is 9. So each one of these is worth 29. Okay, I'm only going to fill that many in because that's the amount that we need. So if we want 3 fifths. We're now looking at 29 times 3. Now there's a couple of ways that you could do this. You could multiply 30 by 3 and then take 3 off, or you could use the short multiplication method. Either is fine. To show you, I'm going to do the short multiplication method, but I would imagine most of you should be able to do this in your head. So 9 times 3, 27. 3 times 2 is 6. Add on 2 more is 8. So 3 fifths of 145 is 87 and lastly we've got two thirds of 354 so we're working with thirds so we're going to split our bottom bar into three and to find out what each one is worth we need to divide 354 by three so i'm going to use bus stop method how many threes are in three one how many threes are in five well, there's one whole group of three with a remainder of two 
And how many threes are in 24? Eight. So each one of these is worth 118. If we look back at the fraction, we want two of them. So we can either do repeated addition, where we add the two together, or we can use short multiplication, which is the one I'm going to do. So 8 times 2 is 16, 2 times 1 is 2, add 1 is 3, and 2 times 1 is 2. So 2 thirds of 354 is 236.